Hi. Let's learn about asset swap. An asset swap is similar in structure to a plain vanilla swap with the key difference being the underlying of the swap contract. Asset swaps can be used to overlay the fixed interest rates of bond coupons with floating rates. They are used to transform cash flow characteristics of underlying assets and hedge the assets risks. Whether the swap is to hedge interest rate risk or default risk, there are two separate trades that occur. The mechanics are the same for the swap buyer wishing to hedge default or some other event risk. There are two components used in calculating the spread for an asset swap, the value of coupons of underlying assets minus par swap rates and a comparison between bond prices and par values to determine the price that the investor has to pay over the lifetime of the swap. Suppose an investor buys a bond at a dirty price of 110% and wants to hedge the risk of a default by the bond issuer. She contacts a bank for an asset swap. The bond's fixed coupons are 6% of par value and the swap rate is 5%. The asset swap spread is 0.5%. Therefore, the bank pays the investor LIBOR rates plus 0.5% during the swap's lifetime. Here are three key takeaways. 1. An asset swap is used to transform cash flow characteristics to hedge risks from one financial instrument with undesirable cash flow characteristics into another with favorable cash flow. 2. There are two parties in an asset swap transaction, a protection seller, which receives cash flows from the bond, and a swap buyer, which hedges risk associated with the bond by selling it to a protection seller. 3. The seller pays an asset swap spread, which is equal to the overnight rate plus, or minus, a pre-calculated spread. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.